Hi there, this is Carew, and I'm back with Carew's Reviews. This time, I'm just, as you can see, I've just got the subwoofers, so I'll just be talking about them this video. And, uh, I've got all six of them. These are all the subwoofers I own. Um, I only have six. I know a lot of people have dozens, but I've only got six subwoofers for my, for my, uh, computer speaker, so... In this corner is the Acoustic Authority speakers. Those are my newest ones that I bought used, actually. And they, um, that's a, I think they advertise it as a 10-inch woofer. But, of course, it isn't a 10-inch woofer. They never are. When they say they're certain sizes, they're always an inch less. Same with the Edifier. They claim that the Edifier is 10-inch, but it's also 9. The Logitech, uh, Z2300. Uh, they claim that's an 8-inch woofer, but it's also 7 inches, just like the Logitech Z623 is, um, is 6 inch. They say it's 7. And the Klipsch Pro Media, which they claim is 6.5 inches, but of course it's 5.5 inches. And the Altec Lansing, uh, that old Altec Lansing little sub there is only 4 inches, but I don't know how big they ever claimed that one was, but they probably said it was 5 inches, but it's actually about 4, so. So we've got the, <coughs> I don't even know the model actually of the Acoustic Authority here. I don't know what the model number is. Uh, I know the, it's the Edifier S730, that's Edifier's top of the line 2.1 speaker system. The Logitech Z2300 is an older system. That was Logitech's top of the line back uh, 5, 10, 15 years ago. Uh, and then the Logitech Z623 up there, that is Logitech current top of the line computer speaker system. The Klipsch Pro Media up here is the only system Klipsch has offered for a long time. Uh, and the Altec Lansing ACS54 up there. Uh, and Altec, that wasn't the top of the line actually, that's my only speaker system that isn't top of the line. That would be, they also made the AC, Altec Lansing also made the ACS56, which was a better system, and I'd love to get my hands on it if I could ever find one used. But that's an old system too, I don't know, it's probably 15 or 20 years old now, that old speaker system, so. Um, the only ones you can buy now are the Edifier S730, the Logitech Z623, and the Clip Pro Media. But the problem is that none of these subs look anything like what you will see uh, in ads or videos or anything because I've taken the pride the metal covers off all of them because I can't stand those metal covers because they prevent you from really seeing the woofer move and feeling the surround and really exploring the uh, the driver. So I take the have to pry the covers off. But um, the Acoustic Authority here, this is my my newest one. I only paid $50 for it with the satellites, and I kind of got ripped off. It's not a good system. It doesn't sound that good, and it doesn't play that loud. Even though it's a 9-inch woofer, it doesn't play deep at all. It might go down to about, you know, it's fairly flat, probably down to about 60 hertz, maybe. It's not that, for a woofer that size, that's pretty weak. The Edifier, oh, it's also not loud either. It's, it turns out, I thought it had a decent amp in it, but it doesn't really. Um, you, I took it off, but it's got a plastic cover on the top that they add to it to make it look like the um, cooling fins of a, of a power amp on top. But it's not. It's just cheap plastic on top that you just unscrew this piece of plastic. It's ridiculous. So it looks like a really heavy-duty cooling fins and power amp inside, but it's got a weak power amp. I've heard it's only 38 watts RMS for the whole system, which is pretty sad for a system that features that size sub. The Edifier S730, on the other hand, uh, is 300 watts. It's got a huge cooling fins in the back, and, it's, and it really moves. It's got dual bass radiators on the side, so it can uh, really pump out the sound. Just the sub itself is 150 watts RMS. And then the satellites are also 150 watts, so it's a 300 watt system. Um, so these two, even though they're the same size drivers, they are completely different. Um, the Edifier absolutely pounds. It's so loud. And this, the Acoustic Authority, doesn't, isn't, doesn't play loud at all. It's got a really weak amp. Um, but the Edifier actually doesn't sound that great. The bass isn't 
all that deep either. It's probably deeper than the Acoustic Authority, but not that great, for especially for the, the cost and size of it. Um, the Logitech, on the other hand, the Z2300, this system was the gold standard for many years for 2.1 computer speaker systems. Um, and for good reason, because it puts out tremendous volume and uh, it sounds good. <coughs> and uh, the bass really thumps out of this this sub, even though it's only 7 inches. Same with the Z623. Somehow Logitech was able to make uh, a subwoofer even smaller. And with no cooling fins on the Z623, the back of the Z2300 here, the older one, it has cooling fins for the power amp in the back, the 200 watt power amp in the back. The Logitech Z623 amp, also 200 watts, but it doesn't have the cooling fins. And as you can see, the driver's smaller, it's lighter. Somehow they're able to produce similar volume and bass, though. I don't know how they did it, but... And then the, the Klipsch is also pretty good. It, it doesn't have cooling fins on the uh, sub, but it really pounds up the bass, and it also sounds really good, produces really, uh, really deep, thumping bass. And not surprising that the Altec Lansing is the lightweight in the whole setup. <clears throat> it only, I think it's got a 20 watt amp for the sub. Um, whereas the, a lot of these other ones are, you know, 100 to uh, 150. So, I mean, they're a lot louder. But that wasn't Altec Lansing's top of line. And it's just a little 4 inch driver, too, the uh, ACS 54. So, of course, it can't compete with a lot of these other ones. Although, sound-wise, it could probably compete with the Acoustic Authority. Um, both, I wouldn't be surprised, actually, in terms of volume and sound, if these two, this 9-inch sub and that 4-inch sub, could compete in terms of volume and sound, because the uh, Acoustic Authority, that, I should never have bought it. But I just wanted a, I wanted a system that had a really big sub, and it does have that, but... Uh, doesn't play loud and it doesn't sound that great so um, they all have foam surround and they all have foam surround on the uh, drivers and I don't I think that's about it the um, I'd say the edifier the s730 probably weighs less than all the others put together that's how heavy it is. It is just ridiculous. That thing's got to weigh 50 pounds. I don't know how much all the others weigh. I know the Z623 sub's 15 pounds. And the Klipsch is 11. Um, yeah, the Edifier, it wouldn't surprise me if it weighed 50 pounds, which is probably pretty close to all the others put together. Uh, it's crazy. The 300 watt amp also is a part of the reason why it's so heavy. But... Uh, Another thing, too, the Acoustic Authority, they're kind of obscure. They're not like Klipsch and Edifier and Logitech. They're not like mainstream names. <clears throat> and apparently they were um, made by uh, Cyber Acoustics because Cyber Acoustics also made another uh, speaker system that had a uh, 6.5-inch driver. I think it was pretty much exactly the same as this with the little rubber feet and stuff and same driver design and look and everything, but it had a six and a half inch driver uh, as opposed to this nine inch. But yeah, it's that that one's the most disappointing of all I find. Um, and I don't know how old it is either. That's the question. Like I know that the some of these are newer, like the Klipsch, the Logitech, and the Edifier. You can buy these in the store today. They're all brand new. But this Logitech and that Altec Lansing and the Acoustic Authority, they're older. But I don't know how old the Acoustic Authority is, though. I actually don't know how old the Altec is. Um, but they're all uh, old ones. And I don't even know how many watts this puts out, the Acoustic Authority. It's, it's probably only 20 or 30 watts. It's pretty weak. So it's pretty disappointing to see a company, you know, put such a big sub in. And it's got a nice big tune port in the side, too, as, as most of them do. But uh, it just doesn't have the volume, so... Anyway, there's my review, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in another video.